Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet those tiny hearts. It's a super cute pattern for a scarf, for a baby blanket, for a pot holder. No matter what you want to crochet with it, it looks really, really cute. This is how the back side looks like. We will be working with two colors at once. On the beginning, it's maybe a little bit tricky if you never crocheted like this before, but once you get the hang out of it, it works up really, really fast and it's so much fun to crochet. And now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this beautiful stitch. Today I'm using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle and your selected yarn. Today I'm using Stylecraft Special Aran. I really, really love working with this yarn. It's so, so soft and they have them in so many beautiful colors. I'll be using cream and pale rose. I absolutely love this color, but of course you can use any yarn you would like and the recommended hook size. And I will put the link for this yarn down below. And now let's get started. We will start with a slip knot and we will start making chains. So you will grab the yarn and pull through, grab the yarn and pull through. You can use this pattern for anything you would like to crochet. It has to be a multiple of four plus one. So today for my sample piece, I'll be crocheting 17 chains. First, we will crochet in a multiple of four, so 16 plus one. So this is how you adjust the size for whatever you would like to do. It has to be a multiple of four plus one. Once you're done with your chains, we will start with one single crochet in the first chain. The loop on the hook does not count, so you will go into the very first stitch right here, grab the yarn, pull up, you have two loops on your hook, and we will be working in single crochet. So grab the yarn and pull through both loops. Insert your hook into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull up, and another single crochet. And this is all you have to do. Just one single crochet in every stitch. I'm here at the end of my row and now I will chain one, turn the work around and again, work one single crochet in every stitch. So you will insert your hook into the very first stitch and work a single crochet. And again, just one single crochet in every stitch. I'm now at the end of my row and now we will chain one and turn the work around. Now it's time to grab our other color. So here is the white. This is the color I want to use for my tiny hearts. So I'm going to do is just grab the uh, white yarn and put it in the back. So just like this. So we will be working with two skeins at once now for this whole pattern. So all we have to do is hold the white yarn in the back just like that, insert your hook as normal into the first stitch. Just make sure that the white yarn is on top of the crochet hook, just like this. Grab the pink yarn, pull up and a single crochet. And now we attached the second color. We will start with the row of the tiny hearts and first we will need to make two single crochet in this pink color. So just like this. Now we will crochet the first tiny heart. So you can see I have the white yarn in the back. We will insert a hook just as normal, but we are not going to grab the pink yarn. We will go ahead and grab the white. 
So just grab the white color and pull up just like this. And we will finish this single crochet with the pink yarn. So just grab the pink yarn and finish your single crochet. And this is our first tiny heart. Now we will continue. So you can see the white yarn is in the back. I'm going to insert my hook. There is the white yarn we will crochet it with. So now we will need three single crochets in this pink yarn. So one, two, and three. So you can see we are crocheting the white color in. And now it's time for another tiny heart. So again, insert your hook, but instead of the pink yarn, grab the white and pull the white up, just like this. Now grab the pink yarn and finish your single crochet. And this is all you have to do. So now again, we will crochet three pink. So you can see the white is in the back. Crochet around it. So one, two, and three. And now a tiny heart again. So grab just the white, pull up, and finish with your main color, just like that. You can pull the white a little bit, just to make it look nice and even. And now again, three single crochets. And now it's time again for a heart. So just grab the white, pull it up and finish with your main color. Now we are here and this is our last stitch. You can see this V right here, you will insert your hook and also you will grab the white yarn. So you have to write white yarn on top of your hook and finish your last stitch, one single crochet. And this is what it looks like. Now we will chain one, turn the work around. So you can see this is the back side from our pattern and now we will crochet one single crochet in every stitch in the main color. But we will take the white yarn with. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my hook, put the white yarn on top of my needle, my hook just like that. And now I'm going to insert into the very first stitch. So I'll show you one more time. Here is the white. Grab your hook, hold the white yarn, and now insert into the very first stitch and just one single crochet. And now we will carry the white yarn across this whole row. But we will just work in the main color. So go into the next stitch right here and one single crochet. Go on to the next one single crochet just in the main color and like you can see I have the white on top and it is important to carry the white yarn with. So insert, grab the yarn and a single crochet all the way along until you reach your last stitch. I'm here at the end of my row and for the last stitch right here we will again grab the white yarn and finish our last single crochet. Now we will chain one and turn the work around. Now for the second row of the tiny hearts, we are going to start with a heart. 
So all you have to do is grab the white yarn again. You are holding it in the back and insert your hook into the very first stitch. Grab the white yarn, pull it up and finish with the main color. And now we will work three in the main color. And now it's time for a heart again. So insert, grab the white yarn, pull it up, grab the yarn and finish with your main color. And this is our repeat. Three in your main color. And now a tiny heart. Just like this. And again, we are carrying the white yarn with through this whole pattern. Three stitches in the main color. And now a tiny heart again. Now we have three stitches left. So we will be working three single crochets in the main color. Again, I'm here in my last stitch. It's important to carry the white yarn with. So just finish your last stitch. If you are a beginner and it's the first time you're crocheting in this technique and your heart are a little bit tight, you're just going to grab your yarn needle, pull through the stitch just like this and just pull it a little bit. Here it's important to have um, a pretty loose tension, not too, too tight. But if a heart would come out too tight, just grab your yarn needle and wiggle a little bit. So this is what it looks like. And now we will crochet on the back side again. But first we will chain one turn the work around. So again, once you see the back side, all you have to do is just one single crochet in the main color in every stitch. So again, grab the white, put it on top and now insert into the very first stitch and one single crochet. Now you can see we attached the white yarn to this row. And now it is one single crochet in every stitch in the main color. And the white yarn we just carry with. So just one single crochet in the main color in every stitch. Now at the end of the row, we will chain one again and turn our work around. And now it's time to repeat this third row here. So the first row with our tiny hearts. So like you can see, we crocheted two in the main color and one heart. And then it's always three in the main color, one heart, three in the main color, one heart until you reach the end. So we will start now with two stitches in the main color. So you can see here is the white yarn. We will just pull it again to the left, the way we are working, and we will insert our hook into the very first stitch. You can see I'm carrying my yarn, white yarn with and just work a single crochet. You can pull it, just not too tight. And now we are just going to carry the yarn with. So two in the main color, two single crochets in the main color, just like we did in this first row of the tiny hearts. And now a tiny heart. So grab the white, pull up and finish with your main color. Now it's just this easy repeat three in the main color and one tiny heart. So again, 
insert, grab the white, pull up, and finish with the main color. You can pull it a little bit, just not too tight, and this is our repeat. So three in the main color, and one tiny heart. Three in the main color, one tiny heart, and the last stitch is in the main color. So you will insert, just don't forget to grab the white yarn with, finish your last single crochet. And this is what it looks like. Now we will chain one, turn the work around. We are on the back side of our work, so we will just work one single crochet in the main color. So just grab the white. This is the first thing you're always going to do on the back side. Grab the white. And now you are going to insert into the very first stitch and work a single crochet. We are carrying the white yarn width. And now it's just one single crochet in the main color all the way along. Just like that. I just finished the back row. Now we will chain one, turn the work around, and now we need to start again, like here in the second row of the tiny hearts. So first we will start with one tiny heart and then three in the main color. So now again, Grab the white yarn in the back, insert your hook into the very first stitch, grab the white and crochet a tiny heart. And now just repeat three in the main color, one, two, and three, and now a tiny heart heart. Then three in the main color. One, two, and three. And now a tiny heart. So you'll grab the white, pull up, and finish with the main color. One, two, three in the main color. And now a tiny heart. And now we have three stitches left, so we will be working three single crochets in the main color, carrying the white yarn with. Just like this. And here you can finally see how cute the pattern looks like. And this is the repeat. All you have to do now is chain one, turn your work around and work one single crochet just in the main color, of course, carrying the white yarn with. And since we started in the previous row here with one heart and then three stitches, we will start with two stitches and then a tiny heart. And then it's an easy repeat. Three, one, three, one, three, one. All the way along. And then again, you will crochet one row in the main color. And then you will start again with a tiny heart. And then three, one, three, one, three, one. And all you have to do is just keep repeating those rows over and over again until you reach the desired length you need. If you want to finish off your project, I would recommend to crochet the row in the main color. Here I have one stitch left, so I'm going to leave the white just hanging. And now I will finish my last single crochet just in the main color. And to finish your project, now all you have to do is chain one 
pull tight, we are going to secure it. Now we can cut the yarn. Grab your hook, pull the hook all the way through and pull tight. And now it can't open up anymore. We can cut also the white yarn now. And now all that is left, we have to sew in the yarn ends. For the yarn ends, you will need your um, yarn needle. Pull through. And now just weave it in. So all I'm going to do is just insert here through some stitches. Just like this. Then I like to turn my work and go into the opposite direction or even go down. This is totally up to you. Like you can go down a couple stitches like that. Pull tight. And now I'm going to go back up. And this is all you have to do with your yarn ends. And then just cut the yarn. And this is what you have to do to sew in the yarn ends. And we are done. This is another sample piece I crocheted. Here you can see the tiny hearts even better. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I can't wait to see what you're going to use the stitch for. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a great day and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.